Um, I hope everybody is well and that everybody's taking their safety uh, precautions and staying home, being safe. Uh, today, I bring you the top topic for molarity. What is molarity? Molarity is the concentration of a solution. If you recall from uh, the previous video, a solution is made of a solute, which is what's dissolved, and a solvent, which is what dissolves the other substance. So if we have a, a solution of um, tea, right? And we have drink mix. The drink mix is what we're dissolving. So this is the solute. And the water is what's dissolving the drink mix. So this is the solvent, okay? So the concentration or molarity of a solution then is dependent on the amount of solute and the amount of solvent that we have. Uh, in here I have uh, approximately 500 milliliters of water and I have some drink mix. If I add just a little bit of drink mix to this, right, just a few grams of this, because, um, or moles, is this gonna take, taste a lot like tea? No, it's gonna taste like water. It's gonna taste diluted. Uh, it's, it's gonna taste very, very watery. But the more tea that, that I add in here, the higher the concentration of the solution is going to be. Or in other words, the higher the molarity because we're adding more grams or moles of tea to the solution, the concentration, the molarity is going to increase, okay? Uh, so to calculate the molarity of a solution, uh, you use the formula, molarity is equals to the number of moles divided by volume. Okay, uh, and the number of moles, we're gonna refer to it as N. Okay, just like in uh, gas laws, N describes the number of moles. Okay, so let's move on to example number one. Calculating the molarity from moles and volume. What is the molarity of a sodium hypochlorite bleach solution? This is your bleach solution. Uh, that you can use to disinfect things at home. Um, you can dilute this, you can put five tablespoons of bleach to one liter of uh, water and have yourself a nice disinfecting solution. Uh, so this solution contains 0 0.0067 moles or 6.7 times 10 to the negative three moles dissolving uh, 0 0.5 liters of water. And they're asking me, what is the molarity? Well. The formula for molarity is molarity is equals to uh, the number of moles n divided by the volume. Okay, uh, the number of moles that they're giving us is this one, and the liters, the volume is 0 0.5 liters. So this is super simple. The only thing that we have to do is plug it into our formula. Uh, we're saying we have 0. 0, 0, 6, 7 moles, right? This is moles uh, divided by, let's pull this up, divided by 0 0.5 liters of water, 0 0.5 liters of water. Uh, whenever you do that math, you obtain um, Calculator, you can do it on your phone. You should be doing this on your phone as well. 5.5 is roughly 0.67.5 is roughly um, 0 0.0. Four. Okay, and if you look at significant figures, this should be 0 0.1. Um, and we divided moles by liters. Okay, moles divided by liters. And these are the actual units for molarity. Okay, so that is the molarity of the solution. That is the concentration. Pretty easy. Okay, uh, we're going to um, move on to another example. Uh, example two, calculating molarity from grams and volume. What is the molarity of a sodium hypochlorite uh, bleach solution with one gram of sodium hypochlorite dissolved in three liters 
of water. Okay, so molarity, once again, the formula for molarity is up there. Uh, molarity is equals to and the number of moles divided by the volume, okay? Divided by the volume. Um, and the problem this time is that they are not giving us the number of moles. However, they're giving us grams, okay? If you remember how to uh, calc uh, calculate the number of moles from grams, we're starting with grams, right? And uh, grams of sodium hypochlorite solution, that is NaClO, that is the formula for sodium hypochlorite. And we don't want grams, we want moles, so we need to cancel out the grams. Uh, we're going to cancel out the grams by divided by grams of the same thing, grams of the same substance, sodium hypochlorite solution. Okay, and uh, we're saying moles, we're going to moles of the same substance. Okay, so we say one mole of sodium hypochlorite is going to have how many grams? If you recall, we have to get the molar mass for sodium hypochlorite. Sodium has a mass of roughly 23 grams per mole, 23 grams per mole. Chlorine has a mass of 35, roughly 35 uh, grams per mole. And then oxygen has a mass of roughly uh, 16 grams. Okay, and whenever we add all that, we get um, 74 grams. Seventy-four grams. Uh, whenever we get, uh, and we're starting with one gram of sodium hypochlorite. So the number of moles of that, we say, okay, one times one is one, divided by 74 is equals to zero point zero one three five one. We're gonna leave it at that. Uh, moles of sodium hypochlorite. Na C L O. Okay. And uh, so we have now we have the number of moles for sodium hypochlorite, and we can divide it. So we have this. We just calculated the number of moles. Okay. Um, and now we just have to divide it by the three liters of water, which is the volume. Okay. So we say molarity is going to be equals to that number of moles, 0 0.01351 divided by 3 liters of water, okay? And these are moles, those are liters, we're dividing them. Whenever we do that, we obtain Roughly, the molarity is going to be equals to 0 0.0045 moles. Per liter. Okay, so that is the concentration of the sodium hypochlorite solution. Okay. Uh, two problems, two types of problems that you will have, and there you'll have it. If you have any questions, please uh, contact me through Schoology, and I wish that you guys stay safe. See you soon.